Hello, 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 hello. You caught me peering down at the figure control here. British People's League, BritishPeople'sLeague.com at you this February 17th, 2014. Still freezing cold here. Supposed to get a few days to warm up. But can't expect much sympathy from Central Ontario, Canada when all of you people out there around the globe, especially those of British stock, and our American friends are suffering from storms in the east of Canada, storms, you name it, storms here and there and everywhere. In Britain, the floods. Got to give the young princes credit over there. On, on American President's Day, Beatty's giving the young princes credit for getting out and sandbagging to uh, help hold some of the waters back. The Queen is opening up the royal stables to supply farmers with needed supplies. So it's people helping people. And yes, American President's Day is today, and Beatty's uh, shoving our Queen at, uh, at our American listeners, just having a bit of fun. Uh, uh, an American uh, friend sent me an email prior to this taping to the effect that, uh, what are you doing to celebrate President's Day, John? So I'm celebrating uh, with a bit of tit for tat here. I, I am going to say this. This is going to be a shortened version. I'm very proud. BritishPeoplesLeague.com. We've talked about doing the daily videos. Maybe too much ahead of time. Maybe we do have enemies out there. This is my third practice rerun doing this video right now. And it's cut out each time around the eight minute mark. So I think we're going to upload this shortened version in about five or six minutes. I do want to plug Candor's latest. Candor, our British friends, their latest magazine hardcover, and as their logo says, to serve as a link between Britons all over the world in protest against the surrender of their world heritage. I had so many things I want to talk about today. Well, they're just going to have to wait till tomorrow. I, I get paranoid. I find it very suspicious. I've never in a whole year had a short fall on doing these YouTubes where suddenly it says connection has stopped and it was around the eight minute mark. We're doing these five days a week from now on. So we'll catch up. I had a lot of good material I want to relay to you today. Especially the billionaire who financed the Swiss referendum. The Swiss people have said no more immigration, never mind the European Union traveling through our country. What's my point? Those who have followed the British People's League and I as spokesperson, especially on the YouTubes, have heard me talk many times over that the people are ready. We have our blind list. We have our shadow cabinets. We're just waiting for somebody with the bankroll. Well, that happened in Switzerland. One billionaire on our side financed the referendum. And the Swiss have said, no more. No more immigration. Check it out by Google. One billionaire did it. Well, there's billionaires in America who are in our camp. There are billionaires in France who are in the white camp. There are billionaires in Britain. We just need one of them, as it was proven over the weekend in Switzerland. Don Black. Don Black radio show. Rents Network. He's come back. It's an excellent show. And it's on two hours a day prior to my taping, so I've got the inspiration. My friends at Candor were concerned, could I fill 20 minutes a day, five days a week? But I get my inspiration from the two hours at the Don Black show. You find it through the Rents Radio Network, R-E-N-S-E Radio Network. And actually, I am honored to be a guest on the show, the second hour of the show tomorrow. Uh, so Don Black is host and his co-host, is Don Advo from California. So I'm looking very forward at 10 o'clock to that show. 
our plan is to be uplifting. We're not going to nitpick at other groups, but we're calling these shows the Dinosaur News because our race is heading for extinction as the dinosaur was wiped out. We aim to have these shows discuss the progress of various groups who accent the positive and deflate the negative in the white right. But of course we're talking particularly to those of British stock because that's what I am. Previous tapes, check them out, just go YouTube, John Beatty. I have promoted over and over again Ricky Nelson's song, the old song Garden Party. You can't please everyone, you've got to please yourself. I tried the all-encompassing white approach when I was young. It just didn't work for me. Short Shortcomings of my part, possibly whatever. But when my wife and I founded the British People's League in 1978, we decided you can't please everyone, so you've got to please yourself. So that's the introduction. We are going to have these shows on five days a week, and let's hope tomorrow we can get it right up to the 20 minutes. But I'm going to fool whatever's going on wrongly with the video today and uh, wrap it up shortly. We've got some dynamic stuff, especially the billionaire business in, in Switzerland. And Australia is sending the boats back to Indonesia, to Java, with gunboat diplomacy, the Australian Navy are cutting them off at the pass. So our fight back is taking place around the globe, folks. Do not despair. Do not dwell on negativity. Accent the positive. Deflate the negative. So I am going to uh, distribute this video, uh, cut it short, and let's hope we get back to our, our 20 minutes tomorrow. So thank you for listening to this first of the Dinosaur News.